Hey, third and fourth grade. Um, today we are going to be making one of my favorite animals and it's dedicated to Miss Rosman because I haven't seen Miss Rosman in a while because we're not at school together and I miss her. So today we are making her very favorite animal, llamas. Um, llamas are super fun to draw and so I thought this would be a cool activity for you guys and I have it really decorated up uh, just like the Peruvian llamas. Uh, that live in South America. They're used to carry things for people and they put these cool blankets on them and um, All of these jewels. So we're gonna make a super cool Peruvian llama like this All right, uh, go grab a sharpie or something to draw with and then if you want to color yours in grab some coloring tools. All right Okay, we are going to start our llama with his eyes so parts of the face here. I'm gonna start up here at the top left-hand corner of my page and I'm gonna work my way down here. So we'll start up here. I'm gonna make two little curved shallow U-lines, little eyelashes. Those are his little sleepy eyes. Now I'm gonna put on his nose, which is just a V. And then I'm gonna do his mouth with two little curved lines like that. Now I'm gonna put on the top of his head, which is just gonna be another curved line, and add on his little llama ears. Now I'm gonna put on the sides of his face, which are just gonna be like little squiggly lines to make him look sort of furry. Um, and now we're gonna try and do his body. His body's probably the trickiest part, so we're gonna come straight down and get ready to curve into his feet. I'm just gonna kind of make go straight down here and start to curve into his little llama foot. This one's gonna come straight down and then start to turn because his body is gonna come this way. I'm gonna keep coming this way to get ready to make his back here. Come down. Now I'm gonna start his legs. Two legs are gonna be in the front on this side of his body and two are gonna be on the other side of his body. So I'm going to come down and into this leg and back up. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come across and then do the same thing here, down and up. So I'm kind of just making this into a little U and back up. So those are two legs in the front. And I'll put two more little U's for the one in the behind him and I'll put one over here. This one's kind of coming out like that. Oh, he's looking super cute. Kind of a funky shape. It looks like he has these really teeny little short legs here. I'm gonna add on these popsicle stick shapes here to be the bottom of his legs here. They have these like skinny little legs and this is furry in here. Kind of puffy, these are. Make these ones in the front slightly longer because they're closer to us. I'm just gonna fill them in. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I like give him a little furry tail. They really don't have like super noticeable tails. They stay kind of close to the body, so I'm just gonna put a little puff like that on him. Oh my goodness, he's turning out so cute. I'm gonna put a little hat on him, I think. Like we talked about, those llamas in Peru are really decorated and celebrated. So I'm gonna give him a little llama hat. I'm gonna put a line, a little rounded rectangle, a rounded square around his head there, around his um, nose and mouth to kind of show that it looks like it's sort of sticking out. And now I am gonna start to add all of the cool um, embellishments onto him. So you can decide if you, what you want him to be wearing. Is he gonna have his blanket on him? Is it gonna be a rounded blanket? Is it gonna be a squared blanket? Um, you can decide for you. I'm gonna put a squared blanket on him. The one I made earlier had a rounded blanket. So to make it look like it kind of rounds on his body or it's um, laying on him, I just made the sides of this square a little curved, so it looks like it goes around him. Um, I'm gonna set a bowl on him because llamas are primarily used to carry things. They can haul 30% of their body weight. I'm gonna put some handles on it here. 
And in the one I made earlier that you're gonna see me color in, I put fruit here. You could make um, whatever you wanted sticking out of this. Um, okay, so I'm gonna continue decorating. I'm gonna add some palm balls on this side of this blanket. Put a border on my blanket. To it. I'm going to put some pen necklaces on here. I just do a curved line there. with some stripes on them, I think. Pencils. They're just super decorated and fun. And that's what I want mine to look like. I'm gonna put fruit coming out of my bowl here. I'm gonna put some half fruit where I can't see the bottom half of it, which makes it look like it's inside of the bowl here. So there's a banana, maybe there's one behind, one over here, maybe some more apples. Grapey doos, maybe a pineapple in the background. Mm, that is a full fruit basket. Let's get a little texture. Like that. And oh my goodness, I think he is complete. He is super adorable. If you want to give him a little bit of a background, you can. He's walking along in Peru. Looking super cool. And then I think the last thing I'm gonna do is use a gray marker. Um, since the llama, I'm gonna keep him white. I'm just gonna put a little bit of gray U's or W's on here. And it just makes them super fluffy. This would make a super cool card to give to somebody once it's colored in. Llamas just make people smile. And that is kind of what we all need these days, huh? All right, so I am gonna color him in um, and we'll get that started in a second. All right, here we go. Hey guys, I hope you had fun making the llama with me. Make sure that you put your name on the front and email me a picture of it so I know that you did it and I can add it to our slideshow for the week um, to show all the work that was created by Creaker Kids at home because I'm so proud of you guys who are working so hard at home. All right, see you next week.